July 17th. It seems the world has come unstuck during our many months at sea. Some unknown pestilence has settled on the port. So here we must wait. Half a league from home, yet unmoored and adrift in time. We dropped anchor and raised the yellow jack. July 22nd. I am maintaining crew resolve through a strict daily work roster. The ship's engineer is keeping busy with acts of percussive maintenance. In an attempt to stretch rations, the galley chef has dredged the depths of her creative whims. Meal by meal, we watch her mind churn, and our guts along with it. We'll roll the old chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along, we'll roll the old My first mate will be of some assistance to me in my duties. She does possess a certain magnetic quality I could put to use. This is your captain speaking. No haunting sea shanties, no haunting renditions of sea shanties. August 7th. Making my rounds this morning, I did not find the crew at their assigned posts. It was on the brig that I discovered their betrayal. It appears I must redouble my efforts. August 10th. The drudgery of work shall be my ally henceforth. The tedium of routine can be as good as any lashing. I suspect the crew may be conspiring behind my back. In my dreams, I see their plans take form and awake in sheets of sweat. There is more at stake here than trinkets and heirlooms. Now, I shall play their game.
was in our sails, we'd be all right. If the wind was in our sails, we'd be all right. If the wind was in our sails, and we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old child.